Many generations now, we have suffered. The Washichu we spoke to, but they don't hear, they're deaf. The women, the children, the old ones, they suffer. You from the cities, you are our warriors. sons and this is what he told Gad. Uh, this is uh, Genesis 49 and 1 then I'm gonna jump down it says and Jacob called unto his sons and said gather yourselves together that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days the last days are talking about the latter times from that time leading into the last days around the time of shit from the time that Columbus came over here that was like the beginning of the last day from the time Israel started to go down in the 1400s that was that, it. That was the beginning of the last days. So from like the 1400s on down, that was all the beginning of the so-called last time of the so-called white man's rulership. That was going to be the last time that Esau was going to be allowed to rule. So during all the, the 1400s, the, the so-called 500 years of extermination against our people by the white man, that was all the last days, man. Yep. When the white man was over here claiming these lands for himself yep. and uh, removing Disinheriting the native people from removing, our lands, removing the landmarks and all removing that. our landmarks, as the scripture says, that was all at the beginning of his last days, and he didn't realize it. We know it says, "Gad, a troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at the last." A troop shall overcome him. Who's the troop? The so-called white man, the so-called armies of the so-called white man that came over here all throughout the Americas. The, okay, the infantry, the cavalry, the so-called uh, United States Army. That's the troop. Right. Okay, the Canadian Army up in Canada. Okay, that was the troop. They came in and conquered the so-called native tribes of Canada and North America. That's right. And took our lands, took us down. So it was prophecy. That's what. The, that's why the so-called white man was able to defeat the so-called native people and take our land and put us on reservations and ghettos because it was prophecy. But it said we shall overcome at the last. Why? Because the tribe of Gad and Reuben of the lost tribes of Israel. So they left out of Gad and Reuben, the Lord gonna raise them up in these last days when he destroys America, okay, starting with the elect, it all starts with the elect, the, it's happening now, the fact that we're sitting here, he's Gad, I'm Reuben, the Lord rules us up in this knowledge, and have us, is using us to help bring down the so-called white man, by putting out this knowledge, That's right. and other brothers that are Gad and Reuben that are out there, in this truth teaching and bringing it down, so you know what I mean? But then ultimately the Lord is going to physically raise us up when he, when, when he raises up Israel and puts us back in that power seat, man. So in the end, Gad and Reuben is going to win it in anyways, man. That's right. Along with the other tribes. We're going to overcome at the last minute. We're going to have Esau and, so, and slavery. The so-called white man, the same white man that stole our land and murdered and massacred our people. We're going to have him in slavery, man. In the kingdom. Right? Uh, I got something here. I got a little history here for you. This is uh, it's uh, basically this is the history, uh, the story of the Pequot War. Yeah, bring it on. It says um, it is a moonlit pre-dawn in May 1637. 
English Puritans from Massachusetts Bay Colony and Connecticut Colony with Mohegan and Narragansett allies surrounded a fortified Pequot village at a place called Mystic, Mystic basically. That's where the name Mystic comes from, Mystic. In the village, the Pequot sleep. Suddenly, a dog barks. The awakened Pequot shout, Awanu, Awanu. Englishmen, Englishmen, and mount a valiant defense, but within an hour, the village is burned and 400 to 700 men, women, and children are killed. Captain John Underhill, one of the English commanders, documents the event in his journal, News from America, that's what his journal is called. Down fell men, women, and children. Those that escaped us fell into the hands of the Indians that were in the rear of us. Yeah, the other Uncle Tom Indians, the Narragansett. Right, the ones who escaped. Which I, know, the, which I know a lot of Narragansett guys. They're pretty cool, but you know, that was back then. But our people, in other words, man, our people, we, was, we were on some shit before the white man got here. That's Israel. Yep. Israel's wicked. Israel's always had beef with other Israelites. That's right. Back in the scriptures. That's Israel right. was always... Israel was always feuding with each other, man. Yep. Benjamin, one time the whole nation came against Benjamin. And damn near white Benjamin out. Okay, the, the Judah, Benjamin, Levi came against the ten tribes. Israel was always feuding with each other and killing each other. So when we got over here, gangs started feuding amongst each other. So you had tribes that were enemies against other tribes. So when the, but those other guys that were helping the white man was stupid. Because the, the white man going to make a treaty with you to come against another tribe. But as soon as they're done conquering that tribe, they're going to turn around on your ass. Exactly. That's, what, that's, 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 the, that's the valuable lesson that our people found out. These other Indians that said, we're going to help, we'll ally with the white man, but we don't like those Pequots anyway, so we'll help you. Yeah. But then when he's done, he's going to fuck you, man. That's right. He's going to fuck you up the ass. And they show you that in that movie Geronimo with the Apache. That's right. The Apache scout with the red bandana around his head. And then when they finally, when Geronimo and his men gave up, and they were taking him and they were bringing him somewhere else, they took the Apache scout and threw his ass up in there with him too. They was like, okay, we, we, we got what we needed out your ass, and they tossed his ass in there with him. That's an example of it. Um, it says, uh, it says, down fell men, women, and children. Those that escaped us fell into the hands of the Indians that were in the rear of us. Not above five of them escape out of our hands. Our Indians uh, came, it said, came us and greatly admired the manner of the Englishmen's fight, but cried, match it, match it. That is, it is not, it is not, because it is too furious and slays too many men. Great and doleful was the bloody sight to the view of the young soldiers that never had been in a war. To see so many souls lie gasping on the ground so thick in some places that you could hardly pass along. The massacre at Mystic is over in less than an hour. The battle cuts the heart from the Pequot people and scatters them across what is now southern New England, Long Island, upstate New York. Over the next few months, remaining resistors are either tracked, tracked down and killed or enslaved. The name Pequot is outlawed by the English. The Puritan justification for, uh, for the action is simply stated by Captain Underhill. It may be demanded, why should you be so furious? Should not Christians have more mercy and compassion? Sometimes the scripture declares women and children must perish with their parents. Sometimes the case alters, but we will not dispute it now. See, and some... the Pequot just a few years ago, like back in the 90s, mm -hmm. back in like the mid-90s, they just recently got the federal recognition. That's when they got the uh, Foxwoods. They got the Foxwoods. But prior to that, man, they, the, the name Pequot was still outlawed going back to the 1600s. They just recently got their heritage back. Mm -hmm. Certain tribal members came back and reclaimed their lands. Some of their lands up there in, uh, uh, by Stonington up there. Yep, Stonington and Mystic. Okay. Yep. And the name Pequot is just recently being able to even claim to be Pequot. Yep. And they got their federal recognition. That's right. Okay. Because yep. you had certain uh, diligent members in the tribe that fought to get their, their so-called uh, acknowledgement back, man. See that? That's what happened to the Pequots, man. And they know they'll tell you about that. Yep. Read on. And that was, and that's East, that was all East. All Matter of fact, it's still in the books. Uh, up in that area, right here in Connecticut, they still have the, there's still bounties for Pequot scalps. You can still get money for Pequot scalps. Somebody told me that, a Pequot told me that. That's, that bounty is still on the records. 
in certain towns up there. Yeah. Read on. This is some bullshit, man. Now this is about the Pequots, but uh, with the Mohegans are are basically Pequots, and they broke off, and there was a particular Mohegan named Uncas who married a, a Pequot leader's uh, daughter. Uh, the Pequot leader name was Sasuchus, and Uncas married Sasuchus' daughter, and they had that union. And then when Esau came, uh, Uncas wanted to deal with Esau. He basically he wanted to deal with Esau. Um, he wanted to be befriend and be friends with Esau and all that. Sasuchus really didn't want to deal with Esau like that. So then he broke off and said, and the people who left with Uncas said, look, um, he said, look, we're going to call ourselves Mohegan, which means the wolf, the wolf people. We're going to call ourselves Mohegan. But the Mohegans are actually Pequots. That's why when you go to the Mohegan Casino, they got the big wolf's den. Yeah, the wolf's den. That's why they, they have the big wolf. They got that big wolf, they have a statue of a big wolf, and they got the wolf's den. That's when they do the performances and shit. Yep. The, the Mohegan consider themselves the wolf people. Yep. That's what Mohegan means. As, as a matter of fact, I got that right here. I'll, I'll read this. Uh, it says Mohegan Indian history. Mohegan from Maengan, wolf. It says an Algonquin tribe whose chief seat appears originally to have been on Thames River, Connecticut, in north part of New London County. He was speaking about New London, Mystic, and all well, that. That's area. what I'm saying. We're in Bridgeport, Connecticut. You right. get on the highway 95 and drive north. You gotta go north. You take 95 north, you run right into Stonington, exit 92 around there. Before you hit Rhode Island. Before, right before you hit Rhode Island, which is territory of the Narragansett, which were enemies traditionally to the Pequot anyways. They helped the white man kill off a whole heap of the Pequot but just before you hit Rhode Island, around exit 92, you're going to see signs for the Pequot Reservation, which leads you to Foxwoods Casino, which the casino is on the reservation, right? It says, they claim as their proper country all the territory watered by the Thames and its branches north to within 8 to 10 miles of the Massachusetts line, and by conquest a considerable area extending north and east into Massachusetts and Rhode Island, occupied by the Wabakwasit and Nimpuk, Nipmuc. It says, on the west, their dominion extended along the coast to the East River near Guilford, Connecticut, which Guilford, Guilford is on the way going to miss it. Guilford is like exits 55, 56, 57, 58, and 59 is Guilford. Exit 60, 61 is Madison, Connecticut. When you get out to um, exit 91, 92, that's uh, Mystic and the Stonington area, just before you cross into Rhode Island, cross the state line. It says, uh, let me see. It says, uh, These so called white people got a lot to pay yeah. for. They stole a lot. They man. stole a fucking lot. All, all this land up here in Connecticut. You got, some, land, you got man. some beautiful turf up here in Connecticut. You got Damn some sure beautiful do. country up here. Damn sure and these do. crackers be up here enjoying it, man. They live, they live in the nicest areas of Connecticut. And then when you come to Bridgeport, which Bridgeport is considered the hole in the wall ghetto, right. that's where they got all the Negroes and Hispanics stuck in this little hole called Bridgeport. Yep. You come right outside of Bridgeport into Fairfield, you got some, that's all Indian land. The Golden Hill, the Pugunset, and them other tribes, yep. they own all that land. That was their turf. That's right. And they tried to get their little federal thing going on. They got shut down here in Bridgeport. Yeah. Okay? I and the Bridgeport belongs to them. The Golden Hill, or the Pugunset. Hell, where City Hall sits. That's Indian land. They got the paperwork and all that, and basically it got denied in court. They got all the. I remember back in the nineties when the police took the police. 